at the diner area and uh, man, they got a lot of souvenirs and uh, stuff in here so there it is the southern grill yeah look at this stuff yeah what is that sorghum syrup or what yeah sorghum syrup I don't know oh, what that weird. is yeah what is a sorghum I don't know I've heard the word before but I'm not exactly sure what that is hmm. so it's probably not something I'd spend money to try yeah, but I would yeah. much prefer something like death wish oh yeah Bam. <laughs> well I'm interested in trying out the southern grill I so perhaps too. I would spend some money over there I don't know Ooh. I've seen that before. Urban I think it was like Chipotle Williamsburg or something like that. Nice. In the line for the Southern Grill, I see something interesting. This mm. is Kerr's Peppermint Puffs. And I have to say, this is probably something I've never seen before. Have you? No, definitely not. No. I've seen other things, but not the peppermint puffs. And I guess they're like kind of like cheese poops, only cheese puffs, only with a peppermint twist. Right. Yeah, I want to point out some of this stuff. Red beet eggs. And what was that that you found in there? Pickle. Buffalo eggs. Buffalo eggs. How cool is that? This is from Jake and Amos. They're out of Pennsylvania. And uh, they have all kinds of pickled stuff and uh, canned goods. Look at that. Some hot cauliflower. Oh, man. That may be something worth trying. Eat that by the spoonful. So we found some cowboy hats here mm -hmm. and they have quite a variety as you can see on the rack behind us there are blue ones there are purple ones uh, if you want to go for a kind of a VAPI look right there's a purple cowboy hat which is pretty cool yeah uh, red white all kinds of cowboy hats mm -hmm. I'm cute not crabby yet I love crabs I don't what you find over there this Thing that I guess is supposed to make you look like some sort of a surfer guy or something, or I don't know. I'm not sure I want to put it on my head, but it's huh. kind of quite amusing. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be hair at the top. Yeah, there. that's pretty cool. Yeah. And oh, look at these Stucky shirts. Oh, nice. man. I might need to get me a Stucky shirt. <laughs> I kind of like the blaze orange myself. Oh, yeah. See? See, this one This one would be good for, especially for, like, Bigfoot hunting. Oh, yes, yes. You so, definitely stand out in the woods with that thing on. Yeah, if it's hot and it's the summer, you can go looking for Bigfoot in a short sleeve. Right. Stucky shirt. Exactly. Yeah. Or if you want to be more camouflaged, they have the green one. Could be wrong, but I'm colorblind. <laughs> so they have a plethora of hot sauces at Stucky's here. One is called Weed Killer. Look at this. That's pretty interesting. Says seriously hot. Cool stuff. King Street Blues pass out. And some awesome looking seasoning. Love to try some of this stuff. And here's one right from Virginia. Hence the name Virginia Zone. Margarita Key Lime hot sauce. I said there's a lot of those uh, those preserves and, and jarred um, vegetables and stuff that I would like to try as well because a lot of that stuff looks very good. It does, it does. And I'll tell you what, those people up in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. the Amish people, yes, they can make some preserves. They yes. can preserve some stuff. They do, yes. Yeah. They seem to preserve well. Right. So what do you got there? Um, the drinks. Oh, I like the kind of classic style cups that they're in. It is, and they're also mm -hmm. appropriate for the, the Chesapeake Eastern Bay Shore. region yep. that we're in. So, Absolutely. yeah. Kind of nice. So, what, what's in those? Anything unique? Um, what? As Looks far like as Mountain this? Dew. Yeah, that is your Mountain Dew. This is my Pepsi. So, I have to say that I'm kind of excited to be eating here at Stucky's. Mm -hmm. You know, because we stopped at Stucky's once before. Um, you've probably heard of them. They've been around for quite a while, uh, providing food and uh, souvenirs and such for travelers. Right. Often, and. Uh, other one we stopped at, I believe, was up in Ivor, Virginia. Uh -huh. You know, and we didn't take the opportunity to eat in there, but we passed this one often on Route 13, and we thought, you know, we've been thinking for a while, we need to stop in here and try this Southern Grill. Um, because I'm willing to bet places like this, that's our number. 90. Did say 90? Yeah. But I'm willing to bet places like this, 
uh, have some of the best food. Not quite as commercial as some of the fast food chains and such. So I'm excited to try it. And uh, when Linda comes back with the food, I'm going to be tearing in to this bacon cheeseburger. All right, so here comes Linda yes. with this food. And man, I have to say, what size fry is that? Because it's a pretty hearty amount. It is a large. Um, okay. I think we purposely got a large so that we could share it because it doesn't. they don't do combos here. So good. that's one of those things that you have good. to buy the fries separately. We're not but good I'm, that they don't do combos, but right. good that we got fries. But yeah, I do really like the um, large, meaty, crinkle-cut fry. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think I'm going to enjoy these a lot. They have a couple of sauces in the case that you can choose from. I just grab regular ketchup. So. Oh, okay. You can't go wrong with it. Right, right. And let's go, get a close-up of some of these burgers here. Linda, this is your burger. Yes, what is on is. that? Um, onions, um, lettuce, pickles maybe, and some mayonnaise. Cool. And in the back, I got one with bacon and jalapenos, uh, cheese, of course, yes. and some tomatoes, tomatoes because I like to eat healthy every once in a while. <laughs> so, yeah. I think we're going to have to go ahead and sample these burgers yeah, and tell definitely. the folks at home uh, just how wonderful or not Stucky's burgers are. Right. Now, perhaps before we get into these burgers, we should start with a fry. Uh, I'm looking at these, so they're like crinkle cut fries. Yes. Uh, how's the texture feel on those things? Um, they actually look like they're probably cooked very well. Um, mm -hmm. The hard is the outside is nice and hard and crispy. The inside feels nice and squishy, just okay. like an, a good crinkle cut yeah. fry should so be. So no floppy fries here, though I no. like the fro floppy fries. I gotta say. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Now, how do we gauge that temperature on those fries? Pretty good. Almost burn your home tongue hot, but not mm -hmm. quite. So there you, Perfect temperature. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Almost burn your hung tot. <laughs> I highlighted this burger earlier, and uh, man, I gotta say, the bottom of it is, is pretty hot. I can feel it burning through the bun there. Um, probably a little bite to start out with, just to test the temperature, because I don't want to burn my mouth. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Mm. Now, Linda has not tried her burger yet, but I saw when you were fixing, fixing it up, I got to actually see the texture of the burger itself. It's a pretty yes. thick patty. It and, is. Uh, you know, it looks like it's a little, you can see the grill marks on the top, which I really right. like. The little, you know, blackened parts. Mm -hmm. It is definitely more of what you would find at like a homemade uh, burger, like more like a cookout burger, mm. which we really, really like. Love the cookout um, burgers. Now, the onion, unfortunately, was a little bit too large for the patty itself, so I just kind of had to rearrange it a little bit to make it, you know, stay on there. But um, it looks exceptionally good. Let's you try it. You got a bite there. So, I have tried this burger. I took an obnoxious bite of this burger. <clears throat> Not quite as obnoxious as some other bites I've had before, but an obnoxious bite nonetheless. Right. And I have to say, I really like it. I really like the flavor tastes like a grilled burger, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't taste like the generic fast food burgers by any means. This is right. an awesome burger. And the bacon. I like the yeah. bacon too that I got on there. Yeah, um, the bacon looks like it's cooked really good. It does. Let me see if I can just get a little piece off of here at the risk of destroying my burger. You can see it's like nice, greasy, and it's not too crispy, but it's not too chewy. Good bacon. Mm -hmm. Good bacon. How about yours? Mm. My burger is amazing as well. I'm very impressed with all of the food here. Um, and really, the, trying this burger and seeing that it's such good quality meat and, and taste, the flavor is excellent, makes me want to try some of the multitude of other things that they have on their menu because, I mean, they had chicken tenders, <laughs> they had shrimp baskets, they had all kinds of things, um, Philly cheesesteak subs, um, all kinds of club sandwiches. So. You know, whatever you may have a taste for, uh, you're going to find on that menu over there. So don't hesitate to um, come on in. But the burgers, cheeseburger in particular, highly recommend it. Especially with bacon and jalapenos. Right. Let me try these fries. <laughs> and I got to say, I like the atmosphere of this little sitting area over here. Mm -hmm. You know kind of a good amount of booths, you know, for weary travelers to stop mm -hmm. and get a bite to eat. And then over behind Linda, if you can see it over there, there's a 
the gift shop we were looking at with Virginia souvenirs and all kinds of little um, canned goods and preservatives, right. pickled stuff, yes. and souvenirs that uh, I wouldn't mind going and taking a look at after we're done eating. Yep. Along with fireworks. Oh, do they have fireworks? I believe I didn't so. See that. Where along 13 does not have fireworks in Virginia? That's, That's the true. Question. There's a lot of fireworks up here. Mm -hmm. Now, also, as we can see over behind me here, there's some little uh, souvenirs mm -hmm. that you can look at while you're waiting for your food to come out. And it's a pretty good idea to put them over here in the, in the gift side. Mm -hmm. Did you see anything interesting while you're down there? Um, yeah, there's actually a couple of things that were quite interesting. Um, they have an Elvis poster. They have um, Marilyn Monroe. They have a lot of things, like <laughs> a lot of things like that. Then, um, you know, for a variety of different interests, um, pictures of cabins, snowy cabins, and stuff. So, you know, and Star Wars. Mhm. Mm yeah. Wide cool variety stuff. of pictures Wide and variety. signs, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Taking a closer look at the gifts over here. Really nice picture of the lighthouse here. I like that. What do you see down there? Anything interesting? Um, some kind of glass necklaces, and, and these things are kind of interesting too. These little oh, yeah. nightlight things. Nice. Yeah. I like the lighthouses. Yeah. And the train. Look at the train one. I know. They have some really That's nice cool. ones. Yeah. That's really cool. They're very bright. Very bright one. Yeah. Oh, Stucky Bears. I know who would like one of those. And I have to say, I've never seen quite the selection of mason jars as I see right here. Um, some cool ones with some cool labels. So, or they're not cool unless you put ice in them, but... I have to point this out. This is a coffee mug. Of course, it's, you know, got that insulated. It's almost like a porcelain on the outside, but these would be perfect for the paranormal pub table yes, videos they would. that we yes, do. Yes, they would. Because they have the beer, and yet we could be drinking coffee out of it. It looks like a beer mug. Only yep. you can drink coffee out of it. And How for those cool of you who don't that? know, that is where we talk about the paranormal at a pub table. Mm. I gotta say, this looks kind of cool. It looks kind of like a 50s type uh, bear with a poodle shirt instead of a poodle skirt. I got two Bill Volkswagen and the moon's in control. And it's called Chantilly Lane. <laughs> Get it? Yes, and that's pretty cool. Yep. The movement on it is pretty good too. It's it is. really impressive. It is. Got the head moving and everything. Uh huh. That's cool. Here's something cool I have to point out. This is like a vintage Stuckey's mug. How cool is that? It looks like an old fashioned Stuckey's. Oh yeah, look at these things, huh? Yeah. Sparkly eyed skulls. Yeah, they really catch the light. They've got these like kind of Celtic designs, Celtic knot designs cut into the top of them. That's cool. And look, then they, they do really catch the light. They look like they're changing almost. Right, and they've got zombies. Oh, zombie, zombie heads. Head. Not quite yet a skull. No, not quite. He's getting there, close though. to it. But then, these are cool. The little shot glasses. Yes. Pretty yes, neat. This would be good for orange juice. And over <laughs> on the back wall there, they have a plethora of peanuts. <laughs> peanuts. And this is a true statement. And you will be able to find it at Paranormal Pit Stops. It's a Stucky's brand milk chocolate turtle. It looks oh, amazing. Buy that. Right uh, yeah, I think we might now. have to. Yes, we are taking that with us. Yeah, maybe two of them. Yes. One for you, one for me. Well, then, oh, okay. Then get three of them in that case. <laughs> there we have hot boiled peanuts. And like I said, this is kind of a, a, a thing that's not as easy to find. Uh, it doesn't seem in a lot of the places that we go into. But taking a closer look at the peanuts, chocolate covered almonds, milk chocolate brittle mm, bites. Smoked almonds. Smoked almonds, honey roasted cashews. Maple bacon cashews. Oh man, and you know I like bacon. Yes. All right. And these are something that's good. I've tried these before down in Williamsburg. Um, these are deep fried peanuts and you can eat the shell. Yeah. Remember trying those before? Yeah, they're a lot less fibrous. Yes. Um, right. A little more crunchy and, you know, definitely, yeah. Those are pretty good. good. Those are pretty Very good. good and peanuts from Virginia Diner yep. since 1929 with Old Bay. The paranormal corner down here with <laughs> unicorn <laughs> mugs. Um, this thing. And then there's like a zombie head mug too, which is pretty cool and a plethora of fireworks. Yes. Oh man, 
Lots so. of fireworks. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Stuckey's somewhere in Virginia. Uh, well, let's be a little more specific. We're along Route 13. Yes. Uh, on the Eastern Shore. Mm -hmm. Just before the Maryland line. Yeah, maybe about 10 miles. And uh, I definitely recommend stopping in this place. They have some good food if you're looking for, you know, uh, some dinner as you're traveling or some lunch. Right. Uh, they had some other stuff like sweet potato pie looked like in there and stuff they like that. Did. Was that they, sweet potato yeah. pie? I think that's what that was and it looked amazing, yes. Absolutely. Uh, if you just want to stop in for a snack, they got a lot of snacks, they got some chips. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of, they had some, some hers that we hadn't seen before, those peppermint cheese balls oh, and yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. And uh, they also have coffee. Right. Though we didn't get a chance to sample their coffee. Uh, yeah. We'll be sampling some up the road. Um, yeah. So, whatever you need. If you're traveling down Route 13 or up Route 13, just yep. below the Maryland line in Virginia, stop in at Stuckey's. It's yeah. a pretty good place. And we here at Paranormal Pit Stops, give it two thumbs up.